All right, so PlayStation just did the unthinkable, which in my case, I feel like it's the unthinkable. They finally put the first Sly Cooper game on to PS5. Now this is huge nostalgic. I remember I first played this for my PlayStation Vita. I really like Sly Cooper 2, especially like roaming around the city and like trying to hide by the guards as as you're stealing things. Um, my sister is really good at these games. Um, I can't really say for myself the first game. I couldn't get past it, but uh, I want to try this out for the first time I guess on PS5. So without further ado, my name is Aaron. The game is on. Let's do this. Sly, come in. Sly, do you read me? Yeah, I read you loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. <laughs> All right, so here we go. This is like huge nostalgic right here. Okay, so the controls are a bit weird for the most part, so it's kind of hard to get used to. Hey, Bentley, I think I'm seeing things. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. Yeah, sorry about the screen. Uh, the screen's going to come to be like that because it is like the PS2 port, I guess. We're not port, but you understand what I'm trying to say. Man, I'm still got it. Now the cool thing about it is check this out. It has a rewind system, so like I can go back, like just in case if I die, you know, because I die a lot in these games. So it's like if I wanted to go back, or say I did set off the alarm, I can nice just reset job. that. You're in. Inspector Carbolita Fox's office is behind the red door. trying to get used to the because it feels like it's so inverted like it's it's weird i don't know why the controls are like that but i'm gonna try to get used to it all right that's right that door must be super reinforced sly maybe there's a way to get around it okay so here we go Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I hacked into the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in 937. I really like Murray. Criminal! You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was gonna give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. 
Might snap you out of your crime spree. And give up our little rendezvous? Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. Alright, I gotta run, so I. I really hope they put, like, the other games on there, you know? Spy Cooper uh, 2. It definitely 2. I really love 2. Like, I wasn't really that good. Oh, shit. At 1 or 3, but I was really good at 2. Once again, my gang and I had given Inspector Carmelita Fox the slip. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I'd been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal, and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the Fiendish Five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief like my ancestors before me, or fail and allow my family name to bite the dust. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Wrath a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle. Now, when I first played this game on the Vita, let me tell you something. I could not, for the sake of it, like, get past, like, anything. Now, I probably won't collect everything, just kind of have fun with it. Hey, Sly! I just spotted oh, something go. that's going to complicate the mission. See that nasty-looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. <laughs> now, this guy, I think I could bust out my, uh, my camera, but I guess not. But this guy, for the sake of it, I can never get past him. I mean, once I knew how to, like, finally fight, yeah, but... Let's 
trying to listen to Bentley and fight that thing. The left stick, or no, the right stick, like when I look left, I look right, and I look right, I look left. So that's very confusing. Can I climb up this ladder? Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. You know, I made a mistake. I know for a fact there's an extra... There's an extra life probably over there I could have grabbed. Never was too good in stealth when it came to Sly Cooper. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know, that blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. But rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. I mean, just answered our question. Like, he has treasure there, right? Well, one of the pieces. And it's like... I mean, rain does mess with the water, so if somebody's gonna come and steal his treasure, it's like he's gonna want his own defense. He's living in the eye of the storm, so... Raleigh's is... Raleigh is fine. I really hated this guy. Like, Raleigh is fine, so I think he knows what he's doing. I mean, he's a frog for crying out loud, like... I couldn't remember. Was there, uh... And there was times when on the oh shh nope hold up that rewind is pretty sick <laughs> I ain't dying tonight hitting me there were times on the Vita where I did like try to flatten them it nice job so far Sly to get over the next gate you'll need to grab onto this hook using your cane just jump and hit the circle button got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. Interesting. There has a... Uh, yeah, I definitely passed it. I know there's a spot. I know there's definitely a spot where I get like an extra sly life, should I say. I forgot what the coins are for. I don't really remember what they're for. location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police file suggests, 
and that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you gonna get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Okay, so I gotta go all the way over there. I remember that perfectly, then I have to go... Right, there's... <laughs> I think there's like three or like two entryways. Like, two sub-levels. Oh, this is what I need right here. Wow, you found a lucky charm. That'll protect you when you take any damage. Which... Oh, here we go. I can't go up there. Okay. So this is the room I have to go to, into the machine. Or, not room, but sub-level. Oh, this is the one I was trying to avoid. Well... <laughs> Better close those furnace doors! Jump and press the square button! That'll slam them shut! This is the main one I really dislike. I wasn't a very good gamer back then, so... Now, I do remember, like, a lot of this, which is pretty nostalgic and, like, cool. But I don't think I remember even... I think I defeated him. I think I, did. I, think I defeated Rayleigh before. I'm not so sure if I did or not. I wasn't really good at games back then. I remember that guy. Right. I know I skipped some, so I usually would have just collected them, but I think I just want to rel uh, relive some nostalgic. And so this is actually pretty, pretty fun. I think it's good to play this, you know, after a couple years, you know? That never happens. Okay. Are you serious? <laughs> There's no way. Oh, 
Oh, come on! I could reset that, but it's alright. See ya. I think I would have got smoked if I touched that laser. I'm well, not smoked, but the alarm would have just. Oh, yeah, then they turned to fire lasers. That's right. to be going somewhere. There you go. Alright, so we got one of the items. You just need two more, but I'll be stopping it right here. So thanks so much for watching. It's like the end. Your awesome time is over. If you enjoyed this video or want to help me out, give me a like. It's very much appreciated. And I will see you next time, so stay strong, stay classy. I'm really enjoying Sly Cooper. Maybe I'll do try playing it someday, but let's, who knows how that will go. But anyways, alright. Peace out.